Daphne is an Afghan hound. She recently got to meet some of her cousins for the first time. Her cousins were born in Afghanistan and later moved to the U.S. Dad. Today, she would like to tell everyone a story about a day in Afghanistan inspired by the stories her cousins shared with her. As a surprise, I've collected some props to help her tell this story. She doesn't know what I have in this box yet. She covered her eyes, but she couldn't manage to keep her eyes covered for long. Afghan hounds have a hard time not okay. peeking at surprises. Go hide. It might be easier for her if I have her go hide behind this curtain instead. Go hide. She's a bit reluctant to go hide since she's so eager to see what I have. Good girl, stay. Every day starts with the rising of the sun. Lights on. Daphne has never been a morning person and today is no exception. She's less than enthusiastic about helping the sun rise and starting the morning. Why can't we just sleep in? Come on. Come here. Come here. Lights on. But finally, she helps the sun rise and the morning starts. Now that the sun has risen, we can begin our day. Let's start our morning in Afghanistan with a song. There are lots of musical instruments used in Afghan folk music. Play the piano. One instrument is called the harmonium, which kind of looks like a piano. Good girl! Yay! Good job! What a great performance! Nothing like starting the day off with some nice music. Did you know that some places in Afghanistan are known for their hand-woven rugs? Of course, this is actually just a blanket and not an authentic rug, but you get the idea. Now it's time for Daphne to do some studying. One of the major languages spoken in Afghanistan is called Pashto, and this is what her cousins speak. Daphne has been practicing reading Pashto with flashcards. Yes! Yes! Yes, good girl! Now it's time for her to study a good few job. other things. Can she correctly identify the flag of Afghanistan? Afghanistan! Yes! Good girl! Come here! Good job. That's right! She didn't need any help from me. She was looking at the correct flag the whole time and went right for it when asked. She's really on top of her studying. Now it's time to go to work. Afghan hounds are traditionally hunters that chase after prey such as rabbits. They catch them and bring them back to share as food with their handlers. But rabbits can be hard to catch. Step up. Good girl. In order to catch them, Afghan no. hounds have to stay in shape and practice their coordination skills so they can run over uneven no. terrain without issue. Daphne is demonstrating an example of a coordination no. exercise she'll do before hunting. Now it's time to hunt. Come here. Come on. She catches sight of a rabbit and quickly catches it. What a successful hunt. I wonder if those exercises helped. She slings the rabbit over her back to carry it. Now it's time to carry the prey back to camp so lunch can be served. She's careful to make sure she doesn't drop it. I hope we're having some tasty Good rabbit job. stew tonight. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Now that work is done, it's time to have some fun. Camels are often used to carry passengers and goods in Afghanistan, but Daphne just thinks they're fun to ride on. Ready? 
She very carefully climbs up onto the camel's back, sits down, and gets comfortable. Camels are a lot bigger than you might think, and climbing up there isn't as easy as it looks. Before she knows it, the camel gets moving and she rides it around and around. That camel ride looked pretty fun. That's the end of Daphne's day in Afghanistan. Time to take a bow. Bow. Bye everyone, yes. see you next time. Yes.